In this video, I want to help you understand context when you're trying to write your articles in Shortly AI so that you can get the content that you want more reliably. Now, the way it works in Shortly, by default, when you click the Write For Me button, is it takes the article brief, the title, and everything from the cursor point up which means, for example, if I was writing down here in the middle of my article, the best photo spots in Tokyo, and I wanted to start writing from here, it would use everything up, in this case, just this. So in the workflow, basically what you do is you brainstorm up an idea, you take that idea over to phrase, and you do some research to gain you know, an understanding of the topic that you're gonna write about. And while you're studying that topic, you're, you're crafting an outline that you're gonna bring into shortly here. And that's basically the point that I'm at now, except that this is just a little outline. You normally probably have more than this. And it's not really a good outline. It's too many disparate things. But I wanted to do this on purpose to show you how to control the context so that you can get what you want out of shortly. So you know that by default from the cursor up, there's a few things that I need to show you. First are the new commands that are in shortly, released probably today, uh, as of the time of recording anyway. And we call them short, I mean, uh, slash commands. These slash commands are slash rewrite, shorten, and expand. And they do exactly what they say they do. Um, the one that I use the most is expand, and I'll show that the most here. But if you're trying to kind of reword your stuff, rewrite and shorten, do a pretty decent job of that. Uh, if you have a, a longer kind of sentence, and you, you can see the limits here. These limits are in place because these commands were too powerful in OpenAI's uh, perspective. And they thought that there should be limitations placed on them, and that's why those are there. Uh, shortly wanted to have this be way more powerful than it is. And it was very powerful in testing, and uh, I can understand why OpenAI made the decision to make it shortened. And so, you know, they, they don't want the automatic scalable generation of synthetic articles. It's literally something in their API terms of service. So there's the limits. But we can work around them, and that's kind of the point. And that's one of the, the great things about Shortly is you get this blank canvas to write with and you have an AI assistant there to help you when you want to add a little bit more content that's not from you or that you want them, the AI assistant, to finish your thoughts and things while you go to help you write faster, of course. So context is, is sort of the most important thing to understand while you're, while you're writing. So I'll just start here at the top. At the top of the article, if I'm here, you know, where it says the Morinaga Museum of Art and I click write for me, that means that this brief, the title, and this is going to go over to the API or over to GPT-3 AI to bring back content, which is okay. I'm okay with that, right? Because there's nothing in there kind of contaminating the, the call. And I'll explain what I mean a little bit later. But first, I want to show you how you can use these commands. I'm going to use the expand command here, which on the keyboard is command right square bracket. You can see the shortcuts over here. And that's what makes this kind of nice. You can stay in the flow of your creative writing by learning these commands. You can just highlight, square bracket, and it'll go out and do its job. It's going to expand on the Morinaga Museum of Art. Look at that. All right, you notice that it stopped short. That's because of the limits from OpenAI. They don't want it generating tons and tons of content there. I guess probably for good reason. So what you do is you might delete this, but one of the nice things about this AI is that when you lead it, it kind of follows or finishes your thought or finishes the paragraph. So if you are here and you hit write for me, the context now is going to be this and the title and the article brief. So I'm going to hit write for me. And it should finish that thought. It might even start a new one. Uh oh, I clicked somewhere. Let me undo that. See, it's one of the things to be careful of. Click here and then write for me. <laughs> well, I'm kind of glad I made that mistake on video so you can see it. But so just be careful where your cursor is because that's that really counts. 
Um, I don't want it to write that, so let's redo it. And if you see the commands here, let me see if I scroll down. I'm zoomed way in, so this looks like this, but uh, command backslash will do redo, and command semicolon will undo. So let's redo. And so that's that's one of the nice things about Shortly too is you get this nice blank canvas to write in. You have an AI assistant there, and it's unlimited gen generations. So it doesn't sting every time you you know the, the AI doesn't give you exactly what you want, and you reorder more content. Uh, you're not burning through credits like some other tools do. Okay, so let's just leave it here. This is uh, one part of the context, and these are the the commands uh, that are in here for you to use to rewrite, shorten, and expand. I need to explain context inside of those as well. So by default, when you hit write for me, it takes everything up from the cursor, the title, and the article brief, right? If you're using a slash command, it takes only the context that's inside of the square brackets. So if I were uh, to come up here and let me close that. And let's see, the Morinaga family collection. I don't know what that's going to give me, but let's expand on that and let's just see what happens. But in this case, only this is going over to OpenAI, over to the GPT-3. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that and move on. Because there's one more thing that i got to show you that's not inside of the documentation anywhere yet. And is probably the most powerful thing for you to understand. So... When we move down to the next section, we're in a section now that has nothing to do with the Morinaga Museum of Art, right? You're in somewhere where you want to start talking about the best photo spots in Tokyo. Okay, well, you know that inside of the slash commands, there's no context except for what's in the in the brackets. So I'm going to expand on this because I want to, I want to get some more context about the best photo spots in Tokyo. Uh, one thing to think about, though, too, is that's not that great of a, of context, right? the best photo spots in Tokyo for what? So let's go ahead and, and just undo that. And uh, let's add for Instagram selfies or something, right? Just for an example. We've got a little bit more context. We can expand on that. It should provide a pretty decent uh, start to a paragraph for us. And we can start, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so now we gotta be careful, right? We're in a situation now where if I hit right for me, it's gonna use everything up. And I don't want the Morinaga Museum of Art information contaminating uh, the new section I'm in where I'm talking about places to take Instagram pictures in Tokyo. So there's a command you can use to stop it. I call it the context cutoff ruler, basically three slashes. Anywhere where there's three slashes, the context will stop so now if I'm here and I hit right for me, the context will stop right here. Except remember, when you hit right for me, you're not using a slash command, you hit right for me, the article brief and the title also get, get sent. So you're going to get the article brief title and just this that goes over to the GPT-3 AI. And therefore, it's not contaminated by the Morinaga Museum of Art stuff. So when I'm here and I hit right for me, it should continue to write more about Instagrammable places in Tokyo. Okay, and you know, in this case, I don't want this. That doesn't make sense in my in my article. And I can come back here and do it again. And I get more content. Now, one thing you might notice is I'm not really dancing with the AI that much right now. I'm just letting it pretty much write everything. You probably shouldn't do this this exactly way. You should probably pay a little bit more closer attention to the content that's coming out because sometimes it'll conflate two different topics and it'll sound really real but if you know the content or you know the topic uh, it's not quite they don't quite match up so you gotta be careful and also you know you want to change it to your voice but so now here it's starting on a on a pattern so I can probably continue that pattern by just coming down here right number two and it might bring back another place to go and you see now it's type now it's writing about some more things to do uh in in tokyo it's not necessarily about photos right okay so what you can do here when you're in a, in that kind of situation of course you don't want this because it doesn't make sense in the section of the article you're in now you can come back here to the article brief and you can update this this article brief can be changed in the middle of your article you don't have to leave it that way 
every time you click right for me this gets sent whatever's in there so you can change it d depending on where you are in your article if you um, need to get more uh, specific content from the AI okay let's move on I want to show you now a little bit um, or I guess I want to explain it a little bit more is you got to imagine that the AI is an assistant sitting next to you right and you're giving the assistant instructions flip it around for a moment and imagine that you were the assistant and the boss is giving you commands saying hey I need you to write about Tokyo what do you go write right do you do you write about uh, World War II or you know the best ramen in Tokyo or how to get on the train or what do you write about there's so many different things you could write about and if the boss doesn't give you good instructions you know the boss knows what he wants but you don't and so you're just gonna write whatever about Tokyo and chances are it's not gonna be right so you need to learn how to be specific with your instructions and that can come from phrase if you if you've used phrase and you've done the research there's a topics tab you can look up some of those keywords that are uh, important in that topic make sure you use some of those keywords in your in your in your content here or in your title or in this article brief so that you can kind of better inform the AI uh, what you want and so to wrap this up basically you want to be a good boss provide as much detail as you can to your AI assistant so that they can provide you with the best content for your article let me just do a little exercise here real quick please write an article about Tokyo right as what I just mentioned there's not a lot of context there like imagine that this article was was now blank There's nothing else here what is this thing gonna write about well let's just wing it and see what happens not a lot of anything right so it's producing some kind of weird gibberish uh, code don't that's not useful so let's change it a little bit let's let's say let's write an in-depth article I don't know where uh, about Tokyo Japan you know that's a little bit more context still not enough but let's see what happens it's trying a little harder one thing you might do here is remove this because you don't want it to get stuck in a pattern like that and then hit right for me again in this case it'll probably continue to write something decent about something but you know if you're not trying to write about the government and international business and stuff like that this might not make a lot of sense for your article so um, change it up again maybe let's say about the nightlife scene in Tokyo Japan and see what happens we're getting a little bit more context for it mm-hmm yeah this doesn't sound like it's nightlife but Shinjuku down downtown is basically nightlife in in uh, downtown Tokyo so this does make sense if you know this if you know the area um, so let's change it up just a little bit more this is probably more where you should probably head uh, in your article briefs uh, so that it's really got a lot to work with let's write a fun uh, informative let's take away in depth in depth is kind of article about the nightlife scene in the Lapungi area uh, of downtown Tokyo Japan let's add some more for a single young professional now let's see what it writes should be a little bit more informative maybe but it's AI it has a mind of its own it might still look at that now it's writing a story as if they're the person who went downtown it's kind of interesting and um, just one last closing uh, piece of advice is you know dance with the AI you know give it a little bit lead it a little bit don't finish your sentence let the AI finish your sentences sometimes it'll ramble on but sometimes that ramble actually contains something very useful for your article so you don't have to regenerate or throw it away and just save it for later in the article or keep it right there however you can use it but um, 
if you work with the AI, you're going to get something pretty great for your article too sometimes. And, you know, eventually you'll get really good at, at finding the right context for the type of situation you're in in your articles. And you'll get really fast with this. You can produce, you know, a 1500 word article in probably half the time or even less than what you used to. And that's where the power is. So get, also get used to using the keyboard shortcuts and, and the, the highlighting, you know, like if you want, you know, more about last night I went to Tokyo and you expand on that with the command right bracket, you know, and just let it run and just keep, you know, it's going, you're just looking and reading, you're finding what you want and you go, oh, wait, you know, let me um, shorten that, you know, and you can just, you know, command left bracket and then you move down, you, you, you're breaking, you're starting your new content and then you let the AI finish for you and you just get into a real good flow or you know you're, you're here and you, you write for me with command enter and it doesn't produce what you want so you do a uh, command backspace to to regenerate again and command semicolon if you just want to undo and continue on your own you know it once you get into the flow of using all the keyboard shortcuts and the mouse together you can really start producing really fast and that's the power of shortly with the new slash commands and the context cutoff ruler so that you can better control the context while you're in the middle of your articles and get past the major hurdle that used to be a problem in shortly where you know once you got down further into your articles you were trapped and it was harder to get to continue writing your article now you have the power and the knowledge to really make the most use of this AI so uh, I would love to see what you come up with if you're a member of the dojo which is totally free just uh, shoot me an email with a link or something, and I'd love to see it. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, maybe leave a comment or something with uh, some with a link or some piece of content that you've written. I'd love to see it, and uh, I hope this helps. And until next time, take care.